Blank Viking. I like the big windows. <laughs> the nice bus. Look at the railway tracks over there. I don't want my socks all over. Going past the park and past this here east thing, and I have absolutely no idea what's the path of this building. This road has speed bumps and the suspension of this bus means that it bounces a lot. This bus is bouncy suspension, which is quite nice except when there are speed bumps. It's terrible on speed bumps. This bus, this bus suspension is good pretty much everywhere else, but on speed bumps it's terrible. Trowbridge Estate. Now, they protect one building with this big building because this is actually five houses, 82 A to E. Originally, probably on the site with one building, number 82, and then it was split up. Which is why else would they have 82 A, B, C, D, and E? This is a rather, this is a rather small for a double decker. It's less than ten meters long, and it's a nifty little bus. Gascoigne Road. They rebuilt the local tracks, but they haven't rebuilt the express tracks. So if you look here, the local tracks all look very clean and new. The express tracks are a bit windy, and and that might be a problem. And if you look closely, you can see that the express tracks have got heather growing in them. There's heather growing in the express tracks. So it had a negative charge again. And this is a class 315. This train actually looks quite... It, the looks of this train fit in rather well with this line. They fit in rather nicely. The door operation is very good. Better than a lot of modern trains. This train is your Enfield Tower. Next stop will be London Fields. Definitely, I think this train is as good as, if not better, than the Class 378s that most of the underground electric lines use. And the Goblin Lines company closed for electrification. And if you look down here, they have this sort of heather. Um, growing in the tracks, and it's quite nice, it makes it quite nice to look at. Gives it this nice feel that doesn't feel really clean and feels a bit nice. And, and this is a nice train. A lot of people would disagree with me, but I like them. We are now approaching London T.
this train runs off AC electrification, but I think it might have been brought out when they were converting this line from DC to AC, which happened under British Rail, maybe quite old. Um, and so they make a nice sound, they're nice and quiet, but what sound they do make it rather nice, sound like DC motors. not really a very nice looking station but it has some secrets at the bottom of the stairs that exit there is not in a very good location I mean, in the 60s when they built the Victoria line they've improved the location of the exit but you have to go through the Victoria line to get to the exit <laughs> and to get to the exit I'm going to go that bit would make it look like a split level station, but it isn't actually, it's not a split level station. It's actually because here, of course, trains cannot arrive and not depart. The thing is, this train, is that woman who used my trains that are going into the depot? If the trains don't depart, why do they have this? There's no point in going to get to the other exit. At the end here, Turn in here, then go up here, up this escalator. Oh no, it's gone all blurry. And, this, and up here. What does it And now on to a right bus to Archway. There's a right bus which I'm going to. McDonald's have deliberately cited their restaurant to be next to McDonald Road. I wanted to go over there but it doesn't really matter. This is Archway Premier Inn. It has brand new Schindler lifts. This hotel has really nice Schindler lifts with a lovely chime. Not the usual scene at the time. Let's go up to seven. It's not filming it very well because of the way the indicator lights up. That's an unusual indicator about the ship in this really modern design, which is nice in hotels but not so nice in other places. I'm going to record the chime. Really nice chime.
less left to go down to minus two car park. This building's having something weird being done to it. Something reskinned. I think this happened to Premier Inn recently. <laughs> At least they make a few interesting sounds. This train is called Professor Sir Peter Hall.